Oh, and good morning. But today is the gauntlet to find out if we have a new King of the Suck tier. So we have End Bomb from Nexus, as well as Crossback from AC3. Both of them were killed off super hard in canon. But um, long story short, uh, End Bomb is the final version of Ammo's AC. Uh, he is a genius that decides to go into the thing doing um, a rocket challenge and an Iron Man at the same time. So he died very hard. Uh, he can barely hit a thing because, uh, you know, the AI can pull off some cool stuff every now and then. Like, if you give him some background rockets, they'll, they'll be alright. Otherwise, not so much. Uh, this guy is awful. Uh, and then we have Crossback, who is both too lightly armed, too lightly armored, and, well, not even fast enough to justify his uh, position. So yeah. Uh, End Bomb died during some random raid in Nexus. Um, basically, he was, he was like the joke rival, more or less. Then Crossback was the first AC that Union picks. Um, they chose poorly. Very first fight, he dies. The funny part is, he's already terrible. He comes in at half health. They can usually just crush him like an absolute joke. Um, okay. Crossback decided to give up. Well, that's a first. Uh, <laughs> first for that map. Alright. So let's... Uh, go ahead and give that a go again. I'm not actually going to count that one because that is, uh, that's some crap right there. Basically, the AI will occasionally just derp out and forget that area over limits exist. No idea why. It just does. <laughs> I think that I probably should have gone and tried to make Mega Deuce with uh, double rockets. He's always punching things, but there's no real punching equivalent aside from rockets. Alright, so. Uh, Crossback's pretty much relying on hit and run maneuvers here. But pretty much a few rockets are going to be enough to take him out entirely. I'm going to keep this one up, though. We can have a general sense for how he's doing ammo wise. Uh, he doesn't have that many. Uh, his large rockets are definitely more useful than they were in other games. But yeah, every time that he's gonna hit some terrain, it's just hugely punishing. Alright, so he's out of his hand rockets, out of his spread rockets, he's almost out of his larges. And running out of ammo, despite his friggin' name, is exactly what kills him every time. Oh, and there we go. So he won it. But can Crossback pull it back? Probably not. <laughs> He's the worst. I figured there was. Uh, I figured there was no way, uh, no way to make this more fitting than to have some Kung Fury in the background. Now, let's get the metal version of this out here. And what, I was watching Kung Fury again yesterday. Man, that movie's so good. Uh. But yeah, if you haven't seen it, it's free on YouTube. It's basically the most 80s thing you'll ever see. Like, that's literally its point. It was a Kickstarter project a while ago. With, uh... Basically a kung fu cop, uh, some viking riding a T-Rex, friggin' Hitler coming back into the kung fu -er. It's so stupid, but it's awesome. What's funny is, like, every single thing it did, I think, uh, Danger 5 did at some point, too. So, I would say it's pretty heavily inspired by that, but... It's like, it basically takes a lot of what Danger 5 did and just, like, boils it down into, uh... into, like, a 30-minute movie. So if you want like the long-term funny stuff, go see the first season of Danger Five. If you want, actually no, second season of Danger Five was the one that was all crazy on the '80s stuff. But uh, yeah, no, it's uh, it's a hell of a thing. You, you got to see it. Like, 
Uh, the very first scene is a guy basically surfing on a Lamborghini shooting in at a sentient arcade machine. I think that sums it up pretty well. <laughs> oh man, I think... Okay, Crossback's got more of a chance. Oh no, he just gave it up. Never mind. This, this is what Crossback does best. He sets himself up with a chance and then he just like completely screws it. This is just him in a nutshell. I think for giggles we're gonna give him a shot against... what? Oh, I thought he was just firing into nothing for a second there. I think for giggles we might give him a chance against uh, Cardboard. Because Cardboard and Crossback are like the, the two current kings of the garbage bin here. I'm gonna think about this. Cardboard even still in bounds? I think I might have overridden him. I'm gonna have to check. This figure goes close enough to, to uh, Crossback losing the Cardboard that he, he, he just retains that title. That's gonna be one of the cow teams. There's a cow left there. No. <laughs> Yeah, I think it might be gone. Well, anyway, yeah, he's gone. So that's the end of that. Unfortunately, N Bomb has not claimed the title of absolute worst. That will still go to Crossback. So if you have another one that you want to submit here, uh, there's one that Royal put in that was uh, like Corpse Party or something, I think. Um. So that'll be next, and uh, yeah, uh, they have to be ones from the arena or the story or something, from the series in general. Because yeah, that's what Cardboard's deal was. It was an AC made specifically to lose, so it was only like the vertical launch small missiles that have a tendency to miss absolutely everything that isn't a pulverizer. It's a weird market to come out several generations before the enemy does. But oh well, that's the end of that. See you next time.